love movies, love TV shows, then you love VirocoTV.com. Here's how it works. Go online, simply sign up, and for a couple of bucks a month, you can watch anything you choose, whenever it suits you. Hollywood, Nollywood, Bollywood, Telemundo. We've got something for everyone. All our movies are ad-free and play on any device. So you can watch at home, at work, or on the go. Go online at RokuTV.com now. presence this afternoon and I'm asking for grace from your altar from your throne oh God that you will anoint me for this battle this battle that is getting fierce I need strength from your presence I need extra grace in the name of Jesus Lord reign your anointing upon me you said if anybody ask of you you would give unto him Lord I ask of you strength I this battle I must win it in the name of Jesus Christ. Rikama Santa Lava Sunterios. Lord, send your grace. Send your anointing. In the name of Jesus. Rikama Sunterio Santa Yalaba. I need power from above. In the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says that and they shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon them. I read your power right now for my life. Holy Ghost, take possession of my life. Even as I go out for this battle, I shall conquer in the name of Jesus. For you have assured me. I come against you wherever you are. I come against you. 
against you. Rebo, bo, 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 I reject you. Rebo bo bo sandari ma kandari ma enda. Rebo bo bo sandari ma ma endari ma. Sandari ma ma iri bo bo. Sandari ma endari. Hello, woman. Who are you? What kind of question is that? I should rather be asking you that question. Who are you? Mama. Why did you, you come in here? Now, send me. I should rather be asking you why you left everywhere over. By the way, who is this man? This is Pastor Ken. A God sent to deliver your granddaughter of whatever is possessed. Is that what gave him the right to obstruct my prayers? I wouldn't have obstructed you if you were really praying. You were rather blaspheming. What an insolence. Nelson, you mean you brought this furious pastor? To insult me and all you can do is stand and watch? With due respect, Pastor. That is not my mother you are talking to. And if there is one thing that I will not take from anybody, is to insult my mother. Yes, Pastor, he's right. She's a mother. A past mother for that matter. In fact, her prayer has come for so much news. I can see that you both are blinded by her pretentious piousness. To know that this woman is not your biological mother and that she is responsible for all the atrocities and mishaps that have befallen this house i beg your pardon yes you heard me right and she even has a confession to make right now look whatever you call yourself it is you and your useless family then that your useless family you're the ones that have the confession to make we will get to know who has a confession to make here right now. Enough of this madness. It is high time we left. Please leave. <laughs> yes, Pastor. If you are coming here, it's to bring more problems to my family. Please, please do No, I am not leaving until I prove to you that God is not a liar and that this woman. Is responsible for the happiness of this world. I shall call upon the name of the Lord and the fire of the Holy Ghost upon her five times. And if she is guilty and refuses to confess, she shall run mad right here. But if not, then you know that my God is a liar and you can do to me whatever you want. I am warning you, Pastor. Don't dare me. <laughs> shall we begin? Woman, are you ready to confess right now or not? Whatever you call yourself. Hmm? When you're through with that madness, please, you can leave my house. Him, <laughs> brother, should tell you Father, in the name of Jesus, they also told him as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Elijah, the prophet. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The God of Elijah. You that manifested yourself in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 25. When the prophets of Baal fell down flat before you. I call upon you to demonstrate your power in this place right now. And I release the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place. Holy Ghost, fire! 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 Please forgive me. Ah. 
one day when my late husband went out, he found you beside the street that leads to the Roman Catholic Church. Me? Yes. Me. He decided to bring you home. We loved you. We took care of you and raised you as our own son. I, but so I became very jealous of you because of your achievements. <laughs> Knowing that my true biological son had nothing to write on my mouth after all my time and effort. I, all oh, Gabriel could do was drink himself to stupor at all times. Then, the last time you took your wife home to inform you of her pregnancy, Becky, I became very angry. I'm and I shout that I was going to make life miserable. Jesus! Oh, my Please, I'm sorry. So, I decided to visit a native doctor who gave me some concoctions to initiate the fetus Jesus. in the kiss room. Mama, I did. Shoulder of the 
hands are filling my heart. I am covered. This man is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one who on the cross of Calvary said it is finished to all powers of the underworld. And on his authority, I stand against you right now. And I decree in the name of Jesus to refute every power of your evil works in the name of Jesus. I come against you. I rebuke you foul spirit in the name of Jesus. Every word of the evil one in your life today comes to an end. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire! You foul spirit, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire! You foul spirit. Fire! 
Like that. Like I said. You don't have to think otherwise. Yeah. What are you talking about? Why are you ordering us not to think otherwise? When this battle is gradually swallowing our entire family. Look, Daddy. I am no longer comfortable with this battle. I am not. Look at our daughter lying in there. Helplessly. The more we pray, the more our condition is getting worse. What about you? Look at you. That girl has turned you into something else. Maybe you need to ask God so that he will tell you more about this battle. Uh, no wonder. The Bible says that the faith of a true Christian can only be tested when he faces challenges. You see? God that has given us this cross to carry. Yes. He will see us through. He will surely see us through. Yeah. Let me ask you this question as my wife. Do you doubt in the power of God in this battle? Not that I am doubting the power of God, but just that just nothing. Just nothing. The God that called us into this battle. The God that has given us this cross to carry. Yes. He will see us through. Though I'm blind, I'm not afraid. Because his power, the power of God, is in me. The devil may destroy the flesh, but surely they have no power over our souls. Yes. My beloved wife, yes. I want you to join force with me and fight in this battle. Anyway, God revealed to me last night that he is sending us a helper. Yes, a man of God who will help us in this battle. Oh, thank God. Really? Hmm. Oh, God, thank you. Who could be that person? I don't know him either. But I'm looking forward to meeting him soon. Hilda, please lead me to Hilda's room. Let me still take her case to God. What about the food? No, I'm okay for now. Yeah. I'm okay. No, let's let's get there. All right. Why didn't you ask Dali, to come and pick you? Dali, no need. Why? Because I cannot see. True. I can see. Praise I the Lord. I cannot see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cannot see. How manage? 
Beloved, yes. While I was praying the wilderness, yes. God. Lord, no weapon fashioned against me from you. shall prosper. I might be able to in Jesus' name. Protection. Yes, Lord, I need your strength. I need your grace. You have to help me in this battle. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Thou prepared the devil before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Who are you, please? Why do you ask when you have eyes to see? Yes, I have eyes. But I cannot see yet. Just have faith. Look to my direction and you will see me. see you. I can see you in white robe. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, I bless your name. No wonder you had said, if I have faith in you, that at the appointed time, I was going to see again. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Are you the one God said he was going to send to help me in this battle? Yes, I am. Reverend? Reverend Father? Are you surprised? Really surprised. I was expecting a pastor, you know, a man of my kind. And Reverend Father. That is why God is not a man. Please follow me. For your amazing so, darling, that is exactly what happened. God has done it. He is faithful. Praise the Lord. Then let's get home. Let's get home. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. Let's get home. Wow. The Lord is faithful. Like I was saying, I don't know the measure at which I will thank God for the battle He had begun in the life of my family. Wow! Who am I that God will send two of His powerful men to fight my battle? A sinner like me. <laughs> you know, God is merciful. He is. Yes. He is kind. Right. He is all loving. And you know, His deeds they remain a mystery. 
in the eyes of his children. Come to think of it, the least person I expected to see is Father Peter. But God used him so that we would all know that we are all his children, no matter the faces of our denominations. We are all his. And that is God for you. Yes, I invited all of you to Pastor Ken's house today to tell you of my revelation. God revealed to me that Gracious has a magical mirror which he used to watch all the people in the action of people in the whole world. Then the mirror is made up of life of thousands of demons that possess her. Unless that mirror is destroyed, we are fighting an endless battle. So Christ. Yes. Father, you mean there has been a mirror in that house? Right from the time of our birth. Jesus. This is serious. Yes, it is. God. Pastor, I'm really confused. God. You don't need to be confused. All we need to do now is to prepare ourselves for battle. Yes. yes. We, have to. we just have to prepare ourselves for battle. We have to. Yes. That is what we need now. That mirror has to be destroyed. Yes, it, it must be. be. It, it has, has to be destroyed. To. Yes. Let us rise up for prayers. He is God. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy all forces of evil, all powers of the underworld that have been operating in this house. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the forces of darkness. Every marine power behind this mirror, I destroy you today. In the name of Jesus, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy your powers in this house. In the name of Jesus. I decree the power of the Holy Ghost to destroy you right now. In the name of Jesus. Your powers are brought to order. Your powers are brought to order. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You shall not disappear anymore. Abound I this power. every force in you. Abound I it. seal you with the blood of Jesus.
What do you want from me? Stay away from me! Please stay away from me! I don't know you people! Stay away from me! What do you want? Please calm down. Calm down. Okay? We are not here to hurt you. Yes. 
I promise. You see, I'm Pastor Ken, and this is Reverend Father Peter. Yes. And those are your parents, yes. so your parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson. I'm your father. Yes, I can recognize your face now. You've always been around me. Now why do you let me know this? That's horrible witness for such years. We didn't leave you. You've always been with you right from the day of your birth. The devil got hold of us, so right from the mother's womb. You see, you to commit havoc against your loved one by killing and sucking the blood of innocent. No! Stop me! I have not killed anybody before. I have not stopped anyone's blood. All I see in the wilderness is thousands of horrible people. And then I'm sucking the blood of the innocent. I did not do it. That's okay. That's okay, baby. Yes. We agree with you. You've not done any of those horrible things. We agree with you. And I want to assure you of this. That the Most High God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, He has set you free. Are you sure? Yes, and you're free indeed. Because the scripture says, Whosoever the Son of Man shall set free, he is free indeed. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. That no. wilderness you used to see yourself in, you will be there no more. Amen. And I can assure you that those horrible faces you used to see, you will see them again no more. Amen. Because the Most High God has destroyed the powers of the underworld. Yes, He has. And He has rescued your soul and brought your soul into His fold. I can assure you that any power that rises up against you, the Most High God will destroy. Amen. You are safe and free. Mm -hmm. I yes. Mm -hmm. You will not. You will not. I assure you of that. You will not. I can assure you that. It is well with you. Father, be thy oh, Father. The Lord um, is my strength, my refuge. I will be in the power of the underworld and sit in the water. It is well. I am covered in the Lord. Oh, God. I fear no evil. I am covered with the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May we sit down. Oh, we thank you, Father. Pastor Ken, Reverend Father Peter, thank you so very much for all you have done in my life and that of my family. Bless God. I sincerely thank you, especially for delivering my daughter from the captivity of the devil. 
The greatest thing I learned from that encounter is the coming together of a reverend father and a pastor to find a common cause. This shows clearly that God is not concerned about denominations. Whether one is a Catholic, a Pentecostal, or a Protestant, we are all children of the Most High God. That is why we have not to discriminate. All of us are one. You know, Mr. Nelson, you are very right. You are very, very correct in what you just said. Sorry, excuse me. It's like I have a call. Excuse me. Just a minute. Hello? Really? You mean? You mean my daughter is all right? Oh. Praise God! Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah! She's fine. She's healthy. Such a wonderful wow! Girl. That is great. And she's jumping around. Oh. Wow! Praise Jesus. God! Oh God! You are so wonderful. Lord, Lord, I thank you. You know, love. I'm right here in the house of Mr. and Mrs. Nelson. Yes. We came to meet with them and we're having a fellowship. Their daughter is doing very well now. Yes. Yes, God has done it in their lives. Thank you, Father. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Yes, bye-bye. I'll see you later. Wow, that was my oh, Pastor. Yes. God is such a great God. Amen. Wow. To really show that I am very grateful for all that you have done for me and my family. I want every one of you to tell me what you want me to do for you. Just mention anything and I promise you, you will have it. Pastor Ken. <laughs> Mr. Nelson, thank you very much for your offers. But you know what? The greatest gift we will meet, the greatest desire of our hearts and that of God, is that you open up a new leaf for Christ in your life. You need to be born again. I mean, you need to become a real Christian, committed to the things of God. That's the greatest gift you can give us. Yes. Yes, Pastor Ken is right. Accepting God in your life is the greatest gift you can give to us. Well, if that is what you want from me, I think I am proud to say that I want to be born again. I mean now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. We thank God for that. And to my dear wife, this is one of the most valuable treasures God has given to me. Wow. Behind every successful man, there is a woman. If not for your effort, I could have lost my beloved daughter. Repentance has come my way. Now tell me, what do you want me to do for you? Thank you so much, my dear. Well, Pastor Ken here and Father Peter have said the most important one. Yes. But what I would like to ask of you again is just one more thing. Yes. It's just that mm. you should forgive Mama. Please, I mean, we need to forgive her. Please. Well, if God forgives us our trespasses, who are we not to forgive? Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That, that is great. Thank you. That is great. I have already forgiven my man. Okay, And let me tell you that. Tomorrow we are going to visit. Wow! <laughs> Come on! Yes! And for you, my beautiful daughter. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do for you? Please, 
study. Mm. I don't let me go back to that wilderness. Mm. I would like to be a born again Christian. Jesus. I would like to be a servant of the Most High God. I want to be a true, obedient servant of the Most High God and not of the devil. That is all I want from you, Daddy. And to you, Father Peter. Thank you so much for all your efforts. And Pastor Ken, though I have not met your daughter, No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. I do not know what to give to you. I do not know what to offer for what you have done in my life and the life of my family. Praise the Lord! Do mm -hmm. 